Sumo springs versus super springs. What are they, what's the difference, and what do I need? Hi, I'm Adam, Chief Commercial Officer at Super Springs International, and I'm going to explain the key differences between our steel super springs and our microcellular polyurethane sumo springs. This should give you a better idea of what's best for your particular application or build. Super Springs are our namesake product. It's what we started with back in 1996 when we began our US operations. These are a bolt-on steel helper spring designed to add spring rate to your existing leaf pack. This is an add -a leaf alternative. Super Springs are designed to eliminate sag and reduce body roll. What makes Super Springs unique is the patented roller bolt design. What that means is that these are a self-adjusting solution. This really helps in situations where the weight can vary. For example, a pest control or salt spreader truck that may have a heavy load at the beginning of the day and much less at the end of the day. As the vehicle's weight changes, the super springs can adjust with it. So instead of breaking apart a spring pack and adding another leaf, we've created a solution that is bolt-on, zero maintenance, made in the USA, and has a lifetime warranty. Sumo springs are a totally different animal. They're not rubber and they're not airbags. They're handmade from microcellular polyurethane here in the United States. They never require any lines, compressors, or maintenance, and they also come with a lifetime warranty. Because they're not rubber, they perform differently. Sumo springs are a progressive spring, engineered and designed to come into contact much sooner than your factory bump stop, providing load support, reducing body roll, stopping rear end sag, and taking vibration out of the chassis. For a more in-depth look at the Sumo Springs product, check out the video in this series on the Sumo Springs colors and densities. Okay, so let's talk about some example applications where each one works best. That should help you decide which one's right for you. A big percentage of our business is in the work truck industry. So we have companies building out trucks and fleets. They're adding cranes, booms, and other heavy equipment. Those builds are typically constantly loaded with weight on the rear of the vehicle or on a single side. In some RV applications, such as an F-53 Class A or a heavy van build, Super Springs also can work really well. In most recreational situations, however, your vehicle's not constantly loaded. I tow a camper trailer with my F-250, and I have Sumo Springs on both the truck and the trailer. That gives me all the support and control I need when I'm towing, or my truck bed's full, but it doesn't affect my factory ride when I'm unloaded for daily driving. Think constant load versus variable load. Generally speaking, Super Springs are designed for constant load applications. The negative impact of adding these to a vehicle that's mostly unloaded is a harsher ride. I hope this video helps clarify the main differences between Super Springs and Sumo Springs, and when you should use either one. Be on the lookout for more videos in this learning series as we answer more of your questions. And as always, you can call us, chat on the website, or reach out to us on social media with any questions.